Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about 3CNF satisfiability or 3CNF SAT. Now what is CNF? CNF is basically the acronym for conjunctive normal form. Now to first understand 3CNF SAT or CNF SAT in general, we have to understand what is a literal and what is a clause. So in a Boolean formula, a literal is the occurrence of a variable or its negation. So we're going to look at Boolean formulas in CNF. And first, we are trying to understand this concept of literal. So it's basically the occurrence of a variable or its negation. Now, the next concept that we need to understand is a clause. A clause is a combination of literals. Now, in case of CNF, we are going to look at a combination of literals using OR. So there are a bunch of literals which are connected with each other using OR. That is what is known as a clause. Now, in a CNF, it is an AND of multiple clauses. Now, each clause, as I said, is an OR of one or more literals. So this is what is CNF. So it's a Boolean formula that we are going to study. Okay, so let's look at a particular formula here. Say x1 or x2 and not of x1 or x3 and not of x or x2 or of not of x4. So we have multiple literals here, x1, x2, x3, x4. And what we're seeing is each clause, this is a clause. So each clause has two literals. So this is a literal, this is a literal. So both of these are literals. And each clause has exactly two literals in here. And the clauses are connected to each other using and now you can see that each literal is either the variable itself or its negation. For example, in here we have negation of x1. Okay, so in this particular formula, what we can see is that each clause has exactly two literals. So this particular formula is called 2CNF. Because there are two literals. Huh? So it's two CNF is what this is known as a two conjunctive normal form. Now let's look at three CNF. So we are going to write this Boolean formula v here, and here each clause is going to consist of three literals. So let's look at a particular example here. So x1 not of x1. Again, an OR, not of X2. Okay. Now, we're going to AND them. So, AND X3 or X2 or of X4. ANDED with not of X1 or not of X3 or X4. So, this is our here. So this is 3CNF. Okay, because each clause, this is a clause, has three laterals in it. Okay, so this is 3CNF, a formula in 3CNF. Now, in 3CNF SAT, which is the problem that we mentioned in the very first, which is the, which is what this video is about. So 3CNF SAT is a problem in which we are given we are given a Boolean formula phi, okay, which is of this particular form. Like there are three literals in each clause. So we are given a Boolean formula phi in 3CNF form. And we have to figure out if it's satisfiable. 
So we have to figure out if it's satisfiable. So what is satisfiability? Okay. What is viable? So satisfiability is trying to find out an assignment to the different variables such that the formula yields one. Okay. So you can see that in this particular case, all these clauses, so there are three clauses here. Okay. Now each clause has to evaluate to one for phi to evaluate to one. Why is that? Because it is they're all connected with um, ands here. So I'm just going to write down the formula again down below so that it's easy for us to work with it. So x1 or not of x1 or not of x2 and x3 or of x2 or of x4 and not of x1 or not of x3 or not of or x4. Okay, So this is our formula here. Now there are three formulas each of which is connected by an AND. So I'm just going to pick a different color. So there's an AND in here. So each one has to evaluate to one. So if this comes to one, this evaluates to one, this evaluates to one, only then phi will evaluate to one. Okay. Now for each clause, so let's consider any clause here. So say, let's consider this clause. For this particular clause to evaluate to one, what we are looking at is we are looking at or here. Therefore, I this has to evaluate to one or this has to evaluate to one or this. At least one of them, at least one literal has to evaluate to one. Is one. Then you will get the clause to be one. Okay. So let's see if this formula phi is satisfiable here. Okay. So to do that, let's see what I, if we can look at a particular assignment. Say we assign x1 equal to 1. Okay. x2 equal to 1 x3 equal to 0 and x4 equal to 0. It's a Boolean formula. So let's see if this particular assignment yields phi as 1. So the first clause phi will be here x1 or not of x1 or not of x2. Okay. Let's look at this particular expression. So we are looking at 1 or 0 because x1 is 1 therefore not of x1 has to be 0 or 0. So 1 or 0 this is going to evaluate to 1. Good. Next let's look at the next one. So again x3 or x2 or x4. Okay. So if x3 is 0, so this one will give us 0. x2 is 1. x4 is again 0. Because it's an R of 0, 1 and 0, this is going to evaluate to 1. So that's good. Next, let's consider the last one which is not of x1 or not of x3 or x4. Now, if you consider here, not of x1 is going to be 0 because x1 is 1. Not of x3 is 1 and x4 is 0. So, this also yields 1. Therefore, if you do the AND, phi will be evaluated to 1 here. So for this particular assignment, we can find that phi evaluates to 1. So it is satisfiable for this particular assignment. So the goal in 3CNF SAT 
is to find this assignment such that the Boolean formula P is satisfiable. That is the goal of this problem in 3CNF SAT. In 2CNF SAT, it's the same goal, just that each clause only has two literals. Okay. So now why do we study CNF SAT? So we're going to study CNF SAT because it is very important for proving NP completeness. Okay. So we'll get to NP completeness uh, uh, discussions about NP completeness in our next video. Only thing that I want to say here is to CNF SAT is solvable in polynomial time. In polynomial time. But 3 CNF SAT, which looks very similar and to 2 CNF, is actually an NP complete problem. That is, it is not at the highest level, it is not solvable in polynomial time. Though that's not the the correct definition of uh, NP completeness, but that's how these two problems differ. So, that's so. In this video, our goal was to discuss three uh, CNF and three CNF SAT, so we understand it and lay the foundation to study NP completeness in the following.